Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Minecraft development versions or snapshots on your vanilla Minecraft server. Um, so the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and go ahead and type into Google the version or the snapshot version that you are looking for. So Minecraft 13w39b. That's the most current one as of the recording of this video. I'm sure that'll change very quickly. So you just want to make sure you keep up to date on the most recent ones. Or if you want to play an older one, that's fine too. But um, as of now, this is what we're going to use. What you would do is you would go down to where it says server files here. And you would get either the jar file or the exe. Just click on the link and it'll it'll allow you to download each one. Um, now I've already done that. I have both of them on my desktop and I have two folders ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is we'll place the exe in the exe folder that I have created and we will go ahead and double click it to run it. And what it's going to do now is it's going to generate a new server using the 13w39b snapshot and now if I go and open up my launcher and I use the snapshot profile I have created if you don't know how to create a snapshot profile I have a video on that I'll link it in the description um, but I'll go ahead and click play and we'll go to multiplayer and to connect to a server on your desktop, you would go to local hosts, which I have here. But if you want to just direct connect, you can also do that. And then click join server. And it will connect. And there we go. We're now playing a Minecraft 1.7 snapshot server using an exe. Now if we want to do that with the jar file, we need to do something a little bit different. Now if you want to use the jar file, go ahead and take the jar file, put it in a folder. Let's open up the folder and now we want to create or right click and go to new text document. And we're going to name that, you can name it whatever you want actually, but to make it um, more memorable let's make it start server and then you want dot bat and you can click yes to that and now if you don't have the option to change file extensions at the end here which is the dot part what you need to do is you need to go to organize folder and search options view and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types and then apply now once we have that, we want to go to fit, and that, that'll open it up in a notepad file. And the recommendation on the Minecraft wiki is that we put in the following code, followed by the name of the server jar file. So we would copy this and then place it in there and it would look something like this. So if I closed and saved it and then double clicked on start server it'll take a second and then start the server. And what it's doing right now is it's generating the world. Uh, so while that's doing that, let's open up Minecraft again and let's click play and go to multiplayer again and we'll go ahead and connect to localhost, join server. So yeah, that's pretty much how you install uh, Minecraft snapshots to a Minecraft server. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them below. And thanks for watching.